So what I've now done is position the CPU or meter on the chest of the mannequin. I've turned the device on and now I'm going to assume my normal hand position on the chest of the mannequin which is center of the sternum and I'll give you a bit of a, a live demonstration of how the device works. And as you can see it measures in live view my rate adequate depth, adequate release. If I incorporate some errors into this demonstration, such as not achieving an adequate depth, very quickly you'll see that an arrow is pointing downwards telling me to go deeper. If I now achieve an adequate depth but I don't release effectively, we'll see the reverse happen. So I can correct that quite quickly. If I achieve adequate depth and release but go too slowly, you'll see that the little right counter is dropping way off. So now I'll bring everything back into line again, and it's all good. When I take my hands off the chest of the mannequin and the device, a counter kicks in, and it's now counting every single second that hands are off the chest of the mannequin. And this is really, really important in terms of how the feedback software works. It also significantly impacts survival for patients the longer our hands are off the chest. So it's a very, very useful device. We use this device um, extensively throughout first day training in conjunction with either adult, adult mannequins or um, little lamb mannequins. I hope you found this useful. And if you need any more information on any of our first day training courses, please feel free to go to our website, www.qualityCPRfirstaid.com.au or contact us on any of the listed phone numbers on the website. Thanks for watching.